the Roman city of Pompeii. It was destroyed nearly 2,000 years ago after Mount Vesuvius erupted. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius sealed Pompeii's fate in 79 AD, yet its story is far from over. With each excavation, new insights and astonishing artifacts emerge from the ash. That ashy layer that's just underneath the surface, uh, this is full of burned pottery. It's full of the fragments of human bones. From the mundane to the extraordinary, these discoveries paint a vivid picture of this ancient city. Join us as we show you 20 of the most incredible finds made within Pompeii's walls. Number 20. The Unknown Date. The infamous eruption of Mount Vesuvius that decimated the ancient city of Pompeii has long been chronicled to have occurred on August 24, 79 AD. This date, etched into the historical record, has served as the accepted narrative for centuries. However, emerging evidence now suggests the eruption that entombed Pompeii may have struck much later in the year, perhaps as late as October or November. A telling inscription found amidst the city's renovation works provides a crucial clue. This new discovery in Pompeii has changed history. The charcoal scribbled note uses the Roman dating system, marking the date as the 16th day before the Calends of November, equivalent to October 17th. Significantly, this inscription was not meant to be permanent, as it was likely written on a white wall in preparation for a fresco renovation. Archaeologists are certain this date was left in 79 AD, as the charcoal would have quickly faded, making it an exceptionally precise contemporary piece of evidence. This revised timeline is also supported by the discovery of well-preserved remnants within the ruins, including autumn fruits in their prime and substantial protective garments, items that defy the expected attire for the region's typically scorching August climate. This mid-October date opens a Pandora's box of possibilities. Did the eruption truly strike later than previously believed? Was Pompeii thriving with activity and renewal right up until the very end of its existence? The veil of time continues to shroud parts of this ancient city's tale, as scholars delve deeper into the wealth of clues hidden beneath the layers of ash and history. Number 19. The Tragic Fate of Newborn the devastation brought by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD is perhaps most poignantly embodied in the discoveries of the remains of a newborn baby and a pregnant woman among the ruins of Pompeii. These heartbreaking findings offer a sobering glimpse into the horrific realities faced by the city's most vulnerable inhabitants as they desperately sought refuge from the volcanic onslaught. During the meticulous excavations of the ancient city, Archaeologists uncovered the remains of a newborn child lying next to the body of a woman, a tragic scene that suggests she had given birth amidst the calamity. In another part of the city, archaeologists uncovered the remains of a pregnant woman, her round belly clearly visible in the plaster cast. Studies revealed that she was approximately 36 weeks pregnant and was likely preparing for the arrival of her child. Tragically, her baby never had the chance to take its first breath, as the eruption claimed both of their lives. Number 18. Pliny the Younger's Vivid Eyewitness Account Much of our understanding of the catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius and its devastating impact on the ancient city of Pompeii stems from the vivid first-hand account penned by Pliny the Younger. Though Pliny himself was not present in Pompeii during the event, his uncle, Pliny the Elder, played a crucial role in the unfolding tragedy. Pliny the Elder was a renowned scholar and military commander, and when the eruption began, he valiantly attempted to rescue victims from the onslaught. Tragically, he perished in his efforts, but his nephew, Pliny the Younger, meticulously chronicled the unfolding disaster in a series of letters addressed to the historian Tacitus. Pliny the Younger's recollections painted a haunting picture of the events leading up to the eruption, including the ominous signs that foretold the impending calamity. He described the colossal and peculiar cloud that billowed from the volcano, a harbinger of the destruction to come. His vivid writing also captured the ensuing chaos, the darkness that shrouded the region as the ash cloud blotted out the sun, and the desperate attempts of the populace to escape or seek refuge. Number 17. The Embracing Lovers in the early 20th century, archaeologists uncovered a poignant and unforgettable scene amidst the ruins of Pompeii. 
two individuals locked in an eternal embrace, their final moments forever preserved by the catastrophic eruption. This striking discovery initially led archaeologists to believe that the remains belonged to a couple or perhaps two young women. However, further scientific analysis, including cutting-edge DNA testing, has revealed a surprising twist to this tragic tale. The remains, rather than belonging to a pair of lovers, actually belonged to two men who were not related. Were they close friends, family members, or perhaps even lovers in a society that was more open to diverse forms of human connection? The ambiguity surrounding their identities and the profound intimacy captured in the plaster cast have captivated the imagination of people worldwide, inviting us to ponder the untold stories and complex relationships that may have existed in the ancient world of Pompeii. Number 16. The Villa of the Mysteries Situated just outside the main city of Pompeii, the Villa of the Mysteries stands out as one of the ancient world's most remarkably well-preserved estates. This grand villa is renowned for its elaborate frescoes, considered among the finest and most intricately conserved from the Roman era. What sets the Villa of the Mysteries apart is its expansive fresco, adorning an entire room and depicting a sequence of scenes that have long intrigued historians and archaeologists. This vividly detailed artwork is believed to portray the initiation rites of a mysterious cult, possibly dedicated to the god Dionysus, associated with wine and fertility. The fresco presents a compelling array of emotions and actions, ranging from ritual dancing to the dramatic flogging of initiates. This has prompted ongoing debates about the precise purpose and symbolism of the room, with scholars proposing various interpretations. Some suggest the space served as a site for the initiation of women into the Dionysian mysteries, where select rituals and knowledge were shared among a privileged few. Others view the scenes as symbolic representations of life stages, from birth to marriage, to transformation. Number 15. The Haunting Plaster Casts One of the most captivating and haunting aspects of the Pompeii tragedy is the plaster casts that preserve the final moments of the victims, offering a chilling yet poignant glimpse into the horrors experienced by the city's doomed inhabitants. These remarkable creations are the result of a fascinating feat of archaeology, made possible by the ingenious work of Italian archaeologist Giuseppe Fiorelli. During the early excavations of Pompeii, Fiorelli made a remarkable discovery, the presence of voids in the hardened volcanic ash that corresponded to the shapes of human bodies. Recognizing the potential to capture the victim's last poses, Fiorelli pioneered a groundbreaking technique, carefully pouring liquid plaster into these cavities. As the plaster set, the surrounding ash was delicately removed, revealing detailed casts that preserved not just the positions, but also the expressions and clothing of those who perished in the eruption. The realism of these casts is truly astonishing, allowing us to glimpse the raw anguish and desperation of the Pompeian's final moments. These haunting relics continue to captivate and move visitors from around the world, providing a tangible, visceral connection to the tragedy that unfolded in Pompeii over two millennia ago. Number 14. The Garden of the Fugitives In 1961, a pivotal discovery was made by Amadeo Maiuri, the superintendent of Pompeii, within the ancient city's Garden of the Fugitives. Originally comprising two houses, the area was later transformed into a vegetable garden and vineyard, situated adjacent to the expansive palestra and just inside the Nosera Gate. Mayuri's team unveiled the remains of 13 individuals who had perished in the eruption. The victims' final poses were hauntingly preserved in hollow cavities within the hardened volcanic ash. To commemorate these tragic figures, the archaeologists employed the technique of using plaster of Paris to fill the voids, resulting in detailed casts that vividly depict the forms of the deceased. Originally discovered in separate clusters, these plaster casts are now arranged in a poignant procession, offering a somber glimpse into the frozen moments of the victim's final agonies. The poses captured in the casts suggest a desperate attempt to find shelter, with men, women and even children pressing against a stone wall, some shielding their loved ones in a futile effort to escape the volcanic onslaught. Number 13. The Ancient Laundry Elixir Among the many intriguing aspects of daily life in the ancient city of Pompeii, 
The most interesting is the practices of the city's public laundromats or laundries. These 2,000-year-old establishments underwent a massive restoration project, costing a staggering 105 million euros. Within these ancient laundries, archaeologists have discovered large tubs, stone basins, and stands where individuals would wash, dye, and even iron their clothes. However, the most astonishing revelation is the Romans' use of urine as a cleaning agent for their laundry. Prized for its ammonia content, urine was a valuable natural resource in ancient Rome, serving as an exceptional stain and dirt remover in the absence of modern soaps and detergents. The laundry process involved systematically collecting urine from public urinals or directly from households, which was then utilized in large vats containing water. The ammonia in the urine effectively broke down grease and dirt, ensuring a thorough cleaning of the fabrics. Number 12. Remarkable Dental Health Amidst the many shocking and intriguing discoveries unearthed in the ruins of Pompeii, one finding stands out as particularly unexpected and remarkable, the exceptional dental health of the city's inhabitants. Contrary to the prevalent notions of poor oral hygiene in the ancient world, recent research has revealed that the majority of Pompeii's residents had remarkably well-maintained teeth, with an absence of cavities and gum disease. This remarkable revelation is largely attributed to the diet of the Pompeians, which differed significantly from the sugar-laden processed foods that dominate modern diets. Unlike today's fare, the ancient Pompeian diet was primarily composed of fruits, vegetables, and grains, with limited sugar intake. This dietary pattern played a crucial role in reducing the likelihood of tooth decay among the city's populace. The air and water in the area contained elevated levels of fluoride, a natural compound known to strengthen tooth enamel and prevent decay. This environmental factor, stemming from the emissions of the nearby Mount Vesuvius, likely bolstered the robust dental health observed in the remains of Pompeii's inhabitants. Number 11. The Prized Horse In 2018, during excavations just north of Pompeii, archaeologists made a stunning discovery. The exceptionally well-preserved remains of an intact horse, adorned with a military-style harness crafted from iron and bronze. This remarkable find was not merely a single discovery, but rather the beginning of an even more extraordinary revelation. As the excavations continued, researchers uncovered the remains of potentially up to three horses, with at least one specimen bearing the distinctive trappings of a high-status animal. The size of the horse, standing around nearly five feet at the withers, was considered quite large for the time period hinting at the existence of highly selected and prized individuals within the Pompeii region. The presence of the valuable military-style harness near the animal's head further suggests that this particular horse belonged to the most noble category, highlighting the significance and status of its owner. Number 10. The Mystical Sanctuary Amidst the wealth of archaeological wonders uncovered in the ruins of Pompeii, one of the most astounding discoveries is the remarkably preserved ancient shrine known as a lararium. These sacred spaces, dedicated to the household deities believed to safeguard Roman homes, offer a glimpse into the religious beliefs and practices of the city's inhabitants. The particular lararium found in Pompeii was akin to a hidden garden, exquisitely conserved and adorned with intricate frescoes that depicted an array of captivating scenes and figures, the vibrancy and detail of these paintings are truly remarkable, considering their age of nearly two millennia. The frescoes within this sacred space feature a mesmerizing array of images, including snakes, a peacock, golden beasts engaged in combat with a black wild boar, birds, a well, a tub, and a figure that appears to be a hybrid, part man and part dog, potentially inspired by the Egyptian god Anubis. This eclectic collection of deities and symbols contributes to an almost mystical ambiance within the shrine, hinting at the complex and multifaceted nature of the Roman pantheon. Amidst these captivating frescoes, the altar of the lararium is adorned with symbolic elements, most notably eggs, a representation of fertility. Archaeologists have discovered charred remnants near the altar, believed to be food offerings such as eggs, figs, or nuts, dedicated to the deities associated with fertility and household rituals. The presence of these paintings of Roman household gods surrounding the altar 
further emphasizes the religious significance of this sacred space. It is conceivable that in their final moments, as the ash and destruction enveloped Pompeii, some individuals may have sought solace and connection to their faith within this hallowed sanctuary. Number 9. The Tragic Fate of Guard Dog Among the poignant and heart-wrenching discoveries uncovered in the ruins of Pompeii is the plaster cast of a guard dog, tragically tethered to a post and unable to escape the volcanic onslaught that claimed the ancient city. The cast, discovered on November 20, 1874, depicts the canine companion of a wealthy Pompeian named Marcus Vesonius Primus. When Primus sensed that his life was in danger, he decided to flee the city, abandoning his loyal companion who remained chained in the atrium, an area designed to collect rainwater. Picture the dog's desperate plight as it strained against its shackles, frantically seeking escape. As the relentless ash poured into the atrium, inexorably enveloping the dog in its suffocating grasp, the animal's final moments must have been a harrowing ordeal of sheer panic and agony. Trapped by the chain that bound it to the post, the dog likely struggled desperately to break free, its instincts for survival pitted against the relentless onslaught of the eruption. Tragically, its valiant efforts were in vain, and the loyal canine succumbed to the volcanic ashes, its final pose captured in the haunting plaster cast for eternity. Number 8. The Unlucky Man Being in the wrong place at the wrong time has rarely been as tragically literal as for Pompeii's unluckiest man. Caught in the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, his frantic attempts to escape were cut short in gruesome fashion by a colossal boulder that smashed his head. However, recent revelations have challenged this long-standing assumption, prompting a re-examination of the remains and the circumstances surrounding this individual's death. Upon closer inspection, scientists made a surprising discovery. The man's skull was entirely intact, contradicting the earlier belief of a violent death by crushing. Further analysis of the remains, including the upper chest, limbs, skull, and jaw, led researchers to reconsider the cause of death. Rather than a direct impact from a massive boulder, the prevailing theory now suggests that the man's demise was more likely due to asphyxiation triggered by the pyroclastic flow during the volcanic eruption. Number 7. The Staggering Power of the Vesuvius Eruption The sheer magnitude and power of the eruption of Mount Vesuvius is almost incomprehensible, even when compared to some of the most devastating man-made disasters in modern history. Experts have drawn startling parallels between the volcanic event and the detonation of a massive atomic bomb, with the eruption estimated to have released a staggering 100,000 times more thermal energy than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima in 1945. Around 1 p.m. on the fateful day, the mountain's summit quite literally exploded, blowing off the entire top of the volcano and releasing a massive cloud of gas, ash, and stone into the air. This colossal outpouring of volcanic material quickly blotted out the sun, plunging the city of Pompeii into an eerie, impenetrable darkness. The power of this eruption was so staggering that it is said to have decimated the ancient city within a mere 15 minutes, leaving no chance for the residents to escape the relentless onslaught of nature's fury. To put the scale of this event into perspective, the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima in 1945 is said to have released energy equivalent to roughly 15 kilotons of TNT, devastating the city within seconds. In contrast, the Vesuvius eruption is estimated to have released the staggering equivalent of 1.5 million tons of TNT, a mind-boggling display of nature's raw, untamed power. The speed and intensity of the pyroclastic flows that poured down the volcano's slopes were equally astonishing, with the superheated gas and debris racing at over 100 miles per hour and reaching temperatures of 300 degrees Celsius. For the unfortunate residents of Pompeii, Caught in the path of this unstoppable onslaught, there was simply no chance of survival. Number 6. The Warnings That Went Unheeded It is a cruel irony that the people of Pompeii were not without warning signs of the impending disaster that would ultimately destroy their city. In fact, Mount Vesuvius had been sending clear signals of its potential for a catastrophic eruption for nearly two decades before the fateful events of 79 AD. Seventeen years prior to the eruption, 
a major earthquake had seriously damaged Pompeii, leaving the city in a state of disrepair and causing many residents to flee. This was a clear indication that the region was seismically active and potentially volatile, foreshadowing the cataclysm that was yet to come. Furthermore, in the years leading up to the eruption, strange occurrences began to plague the area, such as wells drying up, vines on the slopes of Vesuvius wilting and dying, and a dramatic increase in seismic activity. Despite these ominous signs, the citizens of Pompeii seem to have largely ignored the warnings. After all, Vesuvius had been dormant for centuries, lulling the residents into a false sense of security. Additionally, Pompeii was a popular vacation destination for Romans, and the thought of impending doom likely did little to dampen the holiday spirit. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. This new discovery in Pompeii has changed history. Archaeologists tell us Pompeii wasn't a military stronghold. It lacked the strategic importance of other cities on the Bay of Naples. So why were Roman soldiers stationed in this modest Italian town? The mystery deepens with the discovery of a high-ranking Roman officer's skeletal remains in Pompeii during the 1980s. Initially mistaken for a common soldier, his unusually large size and artifacts found alongside his remains reveal his true status. What was a senior officer doing in Pompeii? Was he part of a desperate rescue mission as Mount Vesuvius erupted? Or was there something else entirely going on? What are your theories? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. Pompeii's Middle Class In the shadow of the opulent villas and lavish lifestyles of Pompeii's elite, a recent archaeological discovery has shed light on the everyday existence of the city's middle-class inhabitants. In 2022, during excavations in the ancient city, archaeologists unearthed a two-story residence that provided a compelling contrast to the extravagant homes of the wealthy. Unlike the grand, frescoed villas typically associated with Pompeii's upper echelons, this middle-class dwelling featured more modest amenities, such as clay floors and unpainted walls. However, the artifacts uncovered within the home tell a story of ambition and personal aspirations, rather than mere subsistence. Among the findings were ceramic dinnerware, decorative objects, lamps, and even more personal items, such as an emptied trunk, a bed, and a crib-shaped terracotta perfume burner. These discoveries paint a picture of a comfortable yet modest lifestyle, distinct from the lavish opulence seen in the residences of Pompeii's elite. The range of artifacts, from basic everyday tools to more valuable items crafted from bronze or glass, suggests that the occupants of this middle-class home harbored aspirations of improving their social status, much like the pursuit of betterment observed in contemporary societies. The juxtaposition of necessity and aspiration, as embodied by the unearthed objects, provides a fascinating glimpse into the diverse social fabric of ancient Pompeii. The story of Pompeii is not solely defined by the grandeur of its aristocratic class. Rather, it encompasses the experiences and ambitions of a significant portion of the population, who worked diligently to sustain themselves and their families while dreaming of a more prestigious future. Number 4 the Stabian Baths. Baths were the cornerstone of social life in ancient Rome, and the Stabian Baths in Pompeii exemplify this perfectly. Dating back to around 125 BC, these vast baths, with their multiple pools and ornate chambers, are among the oldest bathing complexes known from the ancient world. The layout and design of the Stabian Baths offer invaluable insights into the Romans' advanced understanding of temperature regulation and their appreciation for artistic expression. The complex featured a variety of rooms, each equipped with distinct heating systems to cater to the diverse preferences of bathers, showcasing the Romans' meticulous attention to detail and their ability to engineer sophisticated climate-controlled environments. Beyond the functional aspects of the baths, the Stabian complex was adorned with a wealth of artistic embellishments, including stunning frescoes, intricate mosaics, and elaborately sculpted statues. These captivating artistic elements would have imbued the bathing experience with a sense of serene beauty and cultural sophistication, as visitors luxuriated in the warm waters amidst these visual masterpieces. The Stabian Baths were not merely utilitarian spaces for personal hygiene, they were integral hubs of social interaction and community engagement in ancient Pompeii. 
These grand, meticulously designed complexes served as gathering places where the city's residents could come together to socialize, network, and build connections, much like the role of modern-day recreational facilities. Number 3. Pompeii and Bread Flatbread was a common staple in the ancient city of Pompeii. Excavations have uncovered about 40 bakeries, with the largest equipped with several mills, a dough mixing device, and a huge oven that allowed the production of up to 2,000 loaves per day. Among the findings were 80 charred loaves of bread found intact within the ovens. The loaves, typically measuring around 9.8 inches in diameter and weighing approximately 580 grams, were often adorned with fruits, nuts, and seeds, showcasing the sophistication of Pompeii's culinary traditions. The excavation of intricate frescoes depicting the bread-making process has further illuminated the city's fondness for this staple food. These artworks vividly illustrate the stages of production, from the kneading of the dough to the final baking, offering a glimpse into the bustling bakeries that once operated within Pompeii's vibrant streets. Interestingly, the circular flatbreads produced in Pompeii bore a striking resemblance to modern pizza, though they lacked the signature cheese and tomato toppings. This early version of flatbread, with its array of fruit and nut garnishes, provides a fascinating precursor to the beloved culinary creation we know today. Number 2. Graffiti The ancient city of Pompeii, frozen in time by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, has unveiled a lesser-known yet profoundly human aspect of its history through the discovery of graffiti etched into its walls. These inscriptions offer a raw and intimate glimpse into the daily lives and inner thoughts of the people who inhabited this ancient city nearly two millennia ago, revealing surprising parallels between their expressions and our modern sensibilities. What is most remarkable about Pompeii's graffiti is its striking resemblance to the ways in which we communicate and share our thoughts today. Spanning a spectrum from the profound to the profane, the inscriptions cover a wide range of topics, including love notes, political endorsements, event promotions, and simple affirmations of existence, mirroring the uninhibited sharing of ideas and experiences akin to our contemporary use of social media platforms. Among the scribblings, some unveil personal anecdotes, such as two friends immortalizing their bond in a bar or a political critique attributed to the finance officer of Emperor Nero. Love remains a timeless theme, with messages expressing affection or heartbreak, while others function as a precursor to modern reviews, offering opinions on where to eat or drink in the city. Number 1. Culinary Delights The ancient city of Pompeii is renowned for its sophisticated lifestyle and culinary diversity. A rich tapestry of gastronomic delights has been beautifully preserved through the archaeological remnants uncovered within the ruins. One of the most captivating and well-preserved discoveries in this realm is the ancient equivalent of a modern-day snack bar, known as a thermopolium. These thermopylia, or fast food establishments, were an integral part of Roman urban life, catering to those who lacked private kitchens or were simply too occupied to prepare their own meals. Excavations of a particularly well-preserved thermopolium in Pompeii have provided a tantalizing glimpse into the culinary offerings and the setup of these ancient eateries. Among the findings were remnants of snails, a prized delicacy in Roman cuisine, often prepared with a variety of herbs and spices to create flavorful and nutritious dishes. The presence of fish bones further underscores the diversity of culinary offerings available to the people of Pompeii showcasing their appreciation for the bounty of the sea. What truly sets these Thermopylia apart is their ingenious design, with large jars, known as dolia, embedded within the counters to facilitate the efficient storage and serving of hot, ready-to-eat meals. This setup allowed the proprietors to swiftly provide sustenance to their customers, much like the convenience of contemporary fast food establishments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.